Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California, and I have a really exciting new project um, in crypto I'd like to share with you today. Um, and I'm going to basically um, go over why I purchased 257,000 Gen Box, or G, G is in golf, E, N is in Nancy, AI tokens. So it's Gen Box or G, E, N, A, I tokens. Um, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Genbox, the ticker symbol G-E-N-A-I, and this is a brand new project, and I'm going to be discussing what it is, its impact on the gaming industry, its features, its website, audits, social media presence, leadership team, partnerships, tokenomics, how to purchase, and my final thoughts and poten potential price prediction. Um, but before I do this, I have to read my standard legal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This video is for educational and entertainment and informational purposes only. All of us, including myself, are responsible for making our own investment decisions. Okay, so that being said, let's get started. Um, basically, earlier today I purchased $100 of, of this token um, when the market cap was about $2.4 um, and then I checked a little later today and the market cap went under 1 million. I couldn't believe it. I'm sending you a screenshot in the thumbnail to prove it. But I was excited and added another $300 worth um, because, because I really believe in, you know, basically I'm going to tell you why I believe in this project shortly. And um, now I have over 257,000 tokens. Um, and with the market cap under 1 million, I, I just couldn't pass up this opportunity. And I'm going to go over everything right now. So let's start with what is Genbox, okay? Speeding up the development of games is the biggest problem in the gaming industry. Um, what Genbox aims to solve this problem. Uh, they want a big chunk of the $243 billion uh, gaming market. At least that's what it was in 2023. Um, so this gaming part project actually has really good utility. It has good use case. Um, it basically uses artificial intelligence to generate three-dimensional landscapes. Uh, people used to spend hundreds of millions of dollars uh, creating these sets. Um, and now AI can come around and generate a landscape for you within a few minutes or even seconds. Um, now, this company says that although they are only in the gaming industry for now, they also plan to expand um, to other verticals like cinematics, movies, and theater. So Genbox, or G-E-N-A-I, is set to lead the gaming industry with cutting-edge innovation, harnessing the power of natural language processing, or NLP, for short, um, artificial intelligence, AI, which you all know, and generational algorithms, okay? This platform aims to revolutionize, excuse me, revolutionize game development, uh, freeing developers to focus on creativity and craft immersive gaming experiences unlike any other. Um, this project allows you to elevate your content creation game. Um, so let's talk about the gaming industry impact. Okay, incorporating Genbox into Unreal Engine and Unity workflows enhances productivity, streamlines development, and refines uh, games. Uh, Genbox swiftly generates uh, immersive environments, automates tasks, provides coding assistance, offset, offers project management tools, and automates uh, script summarization. So um, developers save time and they can focus on creativity and refine their game des design efficiently by using Genbox. By using Genbox AI, you are able to generate 3D worlds, easily uh, solving the issue with virtual environments for gaming, movies, and more. Okay, they have a real working product, and it does, uh, and it does look very, very cool from what I've seen so far on their websites. Um, this will help you make um, cool uh, virtual reality and augmented reality spaces. Um, when you look through the video, it looks like you're actually there. So I, I took a look at a couple of the videos on the website, and, and, and they were really top notch. Um, so I'm going to go over some of the features. Um, they have text-based asset generation, so you can parse descriptions, analyze semantics, semantics, I'm sorry, um, generate assets, and uh, constantly refine. Okay, they have bug, detect bug detection and resolution. It will analyze reports, 
recognizes patterns, diagnoses issues, and suggests uh, fixes. Um, it has a content uh, curation and summarization feature, which means it can extract information, summarize, and is tailored to developers' needs. It also has an automated level design. It understands legal requirements, procedurally generates layouts, and adapts dynamically. Um, so let's talk about their website a little bit. Okay, you can go to genbox.com, G-E-N-B-O-X.com, and genbox.ai, which is G-E-N-B-O-X.ai. Now, if you go to the AI website, I noticed there was like a 10 second delay before the website came up. So be, be patient, let it just sit there until it comes up. Um, and um, it, it, you'll, you, when you get to gen, genbox.com, you can take their tour, you could view sample charts and reports, um, and you can check out their press release. You could sign up as a beta tester, look at their competitor uh, comparison tables. You could, um, it has downloads that you can download for Windows and you could read about all their features. Um, it does have other functions that, that are listed on their website, but there's some broken links on the website. And, and this is because the project's brand new. I think it's only been around a few days. Um, so I would just give them a, maybe a few weeks to get all that stuff fixed. I'm sure they're working on it. Um, so like I said before, genbox.ai loads very slow, but they have their white paper and their trial link on this website. So if you visit the genbox.ai website, you'll be able to see their white paper. Um, this is a brand new project. Um, so some of the links are broken, like I mentioned before. Um, they're gonna fix it soon, just, so just be patient. It'll all be taken care of. Now let's talk about their audit. They did have an audit. Um, they were audited by a company called Solid Proof, okay? This means they are jumping through all the right uh, hoops so they can get things done. Um, so they, they've received a few things after this audit. They received a certificate of completion. Um, they passed a vul, vul um, let me say this right, vulnerability report. You know what I'm saying, right? Vulnerability report um, and automated vulnerability test. So they passed that. Um, the third thing is they had a, they also, um, were subject to manual security uh, testing during this audit. So they passed everything. Now on social media, they're very transparent and offer a website, um, the two I just told you about, and they'll also be in the description, uh, an email address they offer, and they also have a Twitter account, they have a Telegram account, they have a Facebook account, and they have a LinkedIn account. So, you know, most companies that are shady don't aren't that transparent and have all those accounts. So they're very active on social media. Now let's talk about their core team. The chief executive officer or CEO is George Kent. The CMO or chief marketing officer is Thomas Strong. Um, the CTO or chief technical officer is Cho Lee. So those are the three top dogs in the, on, the develop, I mean, on, the, on the leadership team so far. Now they have, they have partnerships they developed, which is, which is very promising news because this means this project is about to go places. They have a partnership with Unity, they have a partnership with Blockspot and they have a partnership with Magnet Digital. Um, they're making good alliances and they can get things done a lot quicker uh, with, these, with these partnerships they've established. Now let's talk about some tokenomics. Okay, right now, as of the time of making this video, their market cap was about $999,000 and change, okay? Their 24 hour volume was about 1.5 million. They have a self-reported circulating supply of 1 billion coins. That, that's self-reported by them, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. Um, but the total and max supply is also 1 billion coins. They have a fully, uh, excuse me, they have a fully diluted market cap of $932,169. So to th at this time, they've already passed their fully diluted market cap. Um, so right now, they ha also have a 15 month um, token emission schedule. Um, to allocate funds for certain routine tasks, such as development, seed capital, um, their team, advisors, liquidity, marketing, staking, and more. Um, so after 15 months, this project could be massive um, by the time they're done with all these allocations. And, and they're still gonna have their standard allocations to, you know, and their loyalty to, to the, you know, because the max of a billion tokens is not that much in a gaming project, it really isn't. I, I've heard of, projects that have like 150 billion market caps and all that. So this is really not that bad. Um, so right now we're gonna talk about how to purchase a uh, Genbox. Okay, so the project is not in pre-sale. It's actually listed on coin market cap. So you can get some tokens right now. Um, the GMAI token 
It's available on the Runes uh, network, which is basically a Bitcoin network. Um, and it's also uh, available on the Ethereum or ERC20 network. So it's available on those two networks. Now you can purchase GEN AI on Uniswap, and that's what I did, um, using the Ethereum market. I'm mean, excuse me, using the Ethereum network. Uh, when, when you do this, make sure you write the first and the last three digits of the listed contract address listed on Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko and match it to what you see under the contract address of, of the token you search for when you do the swap. Um, th this will make sure you're you're getting involved in the you know or you're allocating money to the right project and you're not because if somebody else has a GEN AI, I didn't see it, but scammers might come by later and do this. Um, sometimes they do this so they can get you know basically to allocate send it to their address basically. So you don't want to do that, and sometimes they have the same you know, like G-E-N-A-I, I, but, but then at the top is probably going to be different. you got to be careful with that. So just go to CoinMarketCap and look at their contract address, which will be an Ethereum address. Write down the first three numbers of the contract address and the last three numbers. It's listed in plain sight. And then compare that to the last three that you see before you do the swap. And make sure they match. If you do that, you're good to go. So for international customers, you can also get this on MEXC, M-E-X-C, and um, eToro, E-T-O-R-O. So you can get them there as well. If you're international, you always have more options than U.S. customers because a lot of the, there's a lot of non-U.S. friendly exchanges out there. Um, so I'm going to go over the conclusion right now. Um, right now, the market cap is under $1 million, just like I said. It's, it's right under $1 million. I mean, it'll probably be over a million by tomorrow morning. So if it is, so, so what? If it's, um, I'm going to go over that in a second. But this is a high risk play, meaning there's a chance you could lose all or some of your funds. Um, however, if this project is for real, and through all the research that I've done, it, it, it really appears to be, they seem to have alliances, they seem to be active on social media, the owners aren't hiding, they're, they're out in plain sight. And um, if this project goes to 100 million from where it's at right now, being about a million, that's a 100x return right there because 1 million to 100 million is 100x. That means if you invest $100, you can get 10 grand back, which is pretty amazing. Um, if you, like, like I put in $400, which gave me, I think, 257,000 tokens, but if it goes to 100 million, with the 400 I allocated, I, I could potentially, uh, if it's 100x, what would that be? Uh, 400. 40,000, right? So yeah, it'd be about $40,000 and, and that would change my life because all I need is that little come up because I'm in a pretty good position right now, but if I could just get one or two of these little come ups, I mean, it would just change my life for the better. So I wanted to share this with you because it, like I said, I, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but I think it's something you might want to take a look at because the market cap's so low. I've never recommended a coin, you know, since I've been YouTubing that's around a million dollars. I think the lowest one I ever recommended was like 12 or 13 million. Um, so this one's, this one's like the lowest so far and, and their daily volume is great. So, you know, um, so anyways, I hope you enjoy it. So if this goes to a billion dollars, because this is a gaming thing and, and it's not, it's not unpopular for a gaming token to reach, you know, four or 500 million and even a billion on a couple occasions, like, What's it? I, I forgot the name of that gaming token, but it, I think it reached over a billion dollars. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But anyway, I just wanted to give you that last bit of um, information, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, it would really help if you liked it, um, and if you subscribed, and, and if you leave a comment. Your comments always generate an interesting dialogue, and I answer all my questions. So if you have a direct question for me, I'll, I'll, I'll do everything I can to answer it to the best of my ability. I'm, I'm semi-retired. I have a lot of time to do that. Um, also, um, check out our next video. And I want to say peace out and have an incredible day. I'll get back with you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.